Hey everybody, I'm Jeannie. Welcome back to Magenta Tarot Messages. We're going to be doing a general reading here for the Virgos. I've already shoved the cards. I've already meditated over the energy and you already know what it is. So let's just begin here. I would like to thank everybody for your likes, comments, subscribes, any interaction you have with my channel to help grow it. Thank you much. Excuse me. Need anything from me? Check the description. Let's just tap into this energy, Virgo. I've been getting this song. Um, I don't know what it's called, but it's, I hope that you see right through me. Okay, I hope that you see right through my walls. There's something, there's some aspect of um, yearning. Virgo, there's some aspect of you putting yourself, um, guarding yourself, guarding your energy and love right now. You may be in a waiting period, but you hope that one day somebody sees right through um, your guardedness, okay? I, I hope that you catch me because I'm already falling, okay? So there's energy of you wanting to fall in love. You already know that that's what your next wish fulfillment is, is to have love, have stable love. You can fall in, somebody, fall in love with somebody who um who sees right through you Virgo sees the real you okay compliments the real you okay I feel like you've gone through a lot of heartbreak you've had to let go of some people Virgo and you're hoping that they be replaced okay you're hoping that they'll be replaced Confidence is key to your success here, Virgo. I feel like you just have to take a step confidently. Take your steps confidently. Okay? And somebody will come or something will happen. Because it says it's key to your success. So I see you succeeding in your love life if this, if this is what you want. Succeeding in whatever if that is what you want. So it's all about your confidence level, Virgo. We got be bold and make the first move. Okay, and then Leo energy. It's all about having the strength. So Virgo, you may be a little guarded against love right now. Okay, you may be a little guarded against um, taking the first step, being bold and taking the uh, first move. Of course, if you're a divine feminine, um, taking the first move and asking people all, are always isn't always a, a feminine trait. So there may be an aspect of you having to confidently be bold, Virgo. Um, have faith in your dreams, okay? Whoops. Okay, so surrender to the divine. Be bold and take the first move. Surrender to the divine. So there's an energy, Virgo, that if you just take the first move forward in dating or take the first move forward in um, releasing and not being fearful and just surrender it all to the divine and then have faith in it, okay? I feel like that you will be successful, and you'll be able to showcase the world, show them the real you. Okay, there's an aspect of spirit telling you that you may have to be bold and take the first move sometimes. You may have to surrender sometimes. You may have to just have faith sometimes. But what they do know, or what I do know, is that you need to show the world the real you so you can attract that real thing. And you need to be confident in yourself in which you provide an offer, Virgo. Because you are very special here. Okay, let's tap into the Virgo's energy. What is happening directly in Virgo's energy? What does Virgo's energy look like? Okay, first off, these cards, this card is not supposed to be in there. But it says, long hair, don't care, pretending, putting up a front, two-faced, not genuine. So Virgo, your energy, you could be trying to pretend and try not to care about people um past situations um things that are shaking your confidence Virgo bestie and backstabber yeah you're you're trying to not care about a, a backstabbing that happened with one of your friends Virgo um somebody could have backstabbed you betrayed you in such a way that made you move on from this person and now you're trying to get over this Okay, this is going to be the reason you are feeling like you want love, but you're defensive. Okay, I defend you in your absence. So I feel like after this person left, you're still on defense, Virgo. It's really illuminating after this backstabbing happened that you're still on defense. 
So it's almost like Virgo. <laughs> okay, now this song is making a little more sense. You're trying to put up a front like you don't care about a backstabbing energy. Okay, pretending like you don't care. And in turn, this is putting up a front. Um, a defense system. It's making you um, too independent. It's making you too guarded, Virgo. So uh, the song, I hope that you see right through me. You're hoping that somebody can see right through your guardedness, your walls. But Virgo, what was illuminated here was to show the world the real you. It's almost like Spirit, Spirit wants you to surrender this situation, move in faith and show them the real you, not go out guarded not be scared and have the next ep expectation of backstabbing or even if you don't have that expectation just being on defense Virgo long hair don't care fluid I can't make it up um, no resistance that's some good energy to be in Virgo spirits telling you to really not care about this, you need to go with the flow of natural movement, acceptance, no resistance. Okay, if something happened to you and a backstabbing happened to you and that made you defensive, Virgo, that's not going with the flow. That's creating a blockage, okay? Hindering flow. So Spirit's telling you to naturally release the emotions, Virgo. Have that natural forward movement of grief, grief and that, um, that sadness, Feeling your emotions for that period of time and then releasing it and going with the flow. Not putting up anything like a dam. I'm seeing a beaver's dam, Virgo. A beaver's dam around the heart. Okay, I got an icebox where my heart used to be. Okay, Virgos, y'all out here feeling cold-hearted. <laughs> feeling cold-hearted because you got backstab, Virgo. Um, I feel that energy. I know that can be really hard, but it's only holding you back from potential people who could be good for you Virgo okay I can't make this up health umbrella mask and cupid arrow Virgo there's an energy of you besties you needed to become besties with yourself okay you needed to take that time out to focus on your health go to the doctor work out diet cleanse your mind here because um, Virgo, you're in the waiting out energy with this umbrella. You're preparing and anticipating difficulties in your life. So in doing so, you are going to bring in people who are lying and deceitful. Okay, so I feel like Spirit is telling you to heal this so you won't manifest it in your future. The backstabbing energy. Yeah, kiss, intimate, flirtation, sensuality. So there was some cheating that went wrong here, Virgo. Somebody may have kissed, had some type of intimate communication, flirtation, sexual, sensuality, sexual um, action here with somebody that you were in a relationship with or somebody that you had some type of connection with, Virgo. Uh, one more. But it, it, it graduated you, Virgo. I feel like this was a level up. This was supposed to happen to help you learn something new, go towards something new. Uh, this different person. Okay, heart emotions. Focus on love. Heart's calling. I defend you in your absence. Yeah, Virgo, I can't make this up. In this person's absence, you still defend your emotions. You still defend your heart's calling, okay? You're still defending your heart here, Virgo. I've got an ice box where my heart used to be. I can't make it up, y'all. <laughs> um, but that's the energy, Virgo. I feel like <clears throat> I feel like you're focusing on your heart in the wrong way here, Virgo. Well, let's see what spirits' advice for the situation. Spirits, what's your advice? Long hair, don't care, flu. your advice for the Virgos. Okay. Okay. Let's pause on that energy. 
baby. Virgos, Spirit's telling you to not care about this and be fluid because they have a surprise for you. I feel like there's an unexpected good news coming to you that's going to be a blessing, but it's secret right now or they want it to keep it secret because you need to heal from this backstabbing situation first. This bestie who backstabbed you, you really need to heal completely for this situation so then they can bring in on divine, divine timing. You can get in alignment with this blessing that they want to bless you upon Virgo and with the heart I know is love okay there is some type of divine union coming in for the Virgos but it is needed for you to heal 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 mentally physically everything sexually I heard too oh why am I seeing the um you know those little yoni steamers okay <laughs> need to get you a yoni steamer tell me why um i just thought of a male version of a yoni steamer and <laughs> okay i was just imagining like tea bag in the water but anyways <laughs> we got sagittarius and detour yeah, Virgo, this, this situation with the Bessie is really detouring you. Um, it could have been a fire sign that fucked you over, but this detour with the Bessie, with a Bestie is, um, I mean, the situation with a Bestie, a fire sign is detouring you from this real Cupid's love because you are still anti anticipating difficulties. So spirit saying that you need time to heal. Okay. This is all coming in an expected, I mean, in, in alignment, Virgo, on divine timing. So in timing, they need you to heal so then they can bring this in. And the longer you deal with this fire sign and give them their energy or deal with somebody who hurt you and backstabbed you, Virgo, it's just going to detour you from this. Graduation. I love you. I hate you. I can't make it up. I love you at first sight. I love you. I hate you. Backstabber. Yeah. This um this person, you love them a lot, Virgo. You had a lot of love from this person, but when they betrayed you, they became an enemy, an enemy, a secret enemy. You started seeing all the deception. You started seeing this person was an opportunist, and you know you had to boss up on them. You know you had to graduate and boss up on this energy. You just couldn't, especially if they're backstabbing you. Like, nah. Okay, one no more. Okay, three more came out. We got parent, rebirth, magic involved, and ego. This person who backstabbed you, Virgo, they still really love you. Um, they could have had a baby. You could have a baby or child with this person. Uh, but they want to rebirth this situation. They have been sending magic your way because of their ego and their pride. It's stopping them from outrighting, outright begging you outright um begging you on their knees but this is what they're doing energetically by sending magic towards you this is my equivalent to somebody bowing down begging on your knees for you to pay attention to them this is a desperate baby okay a big ass desperate baby and this person um virgo <laughs> this person is not even worth detouring you from something better they're not even y'all big eyes baby uh what's going on here with the heart virgo defending the heart reconciliation game over aries dysfunctional home yeah virgo you you seem to be dis um you seem to be defending your heart because there is an Aries out here who wants to reconcile with you, who you just got out of a dysfunctional home with. So I feel like this Aries puts you in uh, of the masculine energy of, 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 of taking action. So Virgo, you decided to take action and defend instead of going with the flow here. And this is what Spirit is telling you. This person, you're letting this dysfunctional home that you already said goodbye to. Um, you're letting this energetically block your heart chakra. Uh, you may be a little 
you may feel a little um, bitter about this situation, or maybe a little salty about this situation. Not, 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 not too salty, not soy sauce salty, but you know, some cheese at salty level. You may be feeling just a little salty about this situation. You may be guarding yourself, staying in the masculine energy of protecting yourself, um, Virgo. But what's the news? We're gonna get the news on this. We'll end it out, y'all. What's the news on this unexpected blessing for the Virgos? Unexpected blessing for the Virgos. You're fired, lost, lost your job, career worries. Long hair, don't care. Wow. There is an aspect of this person getting karma on divine timing as well, Virgo. I feel like spirit wants you to be in the energy of not caring about this because they're already gonna get their they're gonna get their karma, Virgo. This person is gonna lose their job. Okay, this person is gonna lose their job. Okay, and I'm not saying that you that you need to celebrate in secret because of this. I think that's because of the unexpected blessings, though. But I feel like on the other hand, while you're getting blessings, Spirit wants you to know they're getting their karma. Spirit wants you to know they're getting their karma. Okay, attracting, trying something new. Nothing feels better than this. I can't make it up, y'all. One more. I should be yours. You should be mine. So Virgo, I feel like this is reflecting back on and giving you a reason why you shouldn't care about this person or their energy at all. Because they're going to be experiencing karma. And on the other hand, you're going to be trying new things that's going to be attracting someone towards you, Virgo. And this person that you're attracting towards, nothing is going to feel better than the, that fucking energy. Look at his smile on his face, y'all. Okay, pure bliss. Okay, I hope that you see right through me, right? Hope that you break down the walls. You, you may want your walls beat up, Virgo. <laughs> uh, you hope that you break down the walls. And the walls are, uh, they're, they're really, um, <laughs> y'all, let me stop. <laughs> you, you hoping that this person comes and break down the walls, Virgo, and, I should be yours, you should be mine. It gives me the aspect of just like some like just like you are searching for someone, okay? There is somebody out there searching for you. So this is why you need to be fluid. This is why you need to heal, Virgo, because there is somebody here for you that's gonna be just like candy, okay? Just like candy, sweet in the mouth. <laughs> sweet in the mouth, okay. Um, what's going on here with the detour? What's the news on the detour? Look at that card bending like that. Wow. Wow. This card bent so hard in order to not go back into the deck. They really wanted to see, wanted you to see, Virgo, about somebody who is stalking you. Um, the bend on that. Okay, there's an energy here that is watching you. It's giving me the page of swords. Could be an air sign. Um, this person is stalking you, Virgo. Yeah. This air sign. I mean, the Sagittarius. This fire sign, or it could be an air sign, Virgo. This person is still stalking you. <laughs> Yeah, because they're in love and they're having financial problems. I can't make this up, y'all. Career worries. They got fired from their job. Okay, there's somebody stalking you. And you don't want them. Don't want it if it ain't easy, Virgo. You're going towards the not easy route. The route towards healing and peace and better things. So, Shay, what's going on with the ego energy, baby? Give me some news on that. We got weather disaster. 
<gasps> Somebody's out here doing magic. You bossed up on them. They backstabbed you. Now they're doing magic. And with the weather disasters, it's almost giving me like a, a backfiring. You know how you hit the fish tank when you're mad and then the fish tank breaks and all the water spills? I feel like they did. They took an action and when they were angry, Virgo, and now it's now it's in an overpour. Now it's leaking onto their life and all of their shit. <laughs> Destroying everything that they had, Virgo. Um, all because all for an affair. A hot new affair. All for some ass. All for some dick. This person did all of this. I hope that ass and that dick was worth it. I, I hope it was so worth it. Because uh, not even magic can get this can get you back. Virgo. Not even magic can get you back. Look, and now they're going through a mental breakdown. They about to lose their shit because they're going through disasters. Because they keep sending spell work towards you, Virgo. You would think they would learn. You would think they would learn that spell work just backfires. Especially when you mess up with a high priestess. Give me something for I defend you in your absence. Game over. privilege flaunter so that's why you're defending yourself too there's an aspect of you knowing your worth that on that okay unpaid bills flaunter privileges unpaid bills aries want to reconcile oh i defending your absence there there's an energy of you defending yourself because there may be um an aries energy who has unpaid bills virgo who's in a dysfunctional home, Virgo. So now you're energetically guarded against people who are in uh, dysfunction. That on that. Um, that or... Game over verdicts. Unpaid deals pass through. It's giving me the absent... Ooh, I'm sorry, y'all. It's giving me the, the energy of past due. Like your past due on love. I'm paid like you you haven't been paying yourself in love Virgo you haven't been paying the bills on yourself okay with the privilege and the flaunter you've been paying your bills you've been getting money you have been uh, maybe dressing well getting jewelry taking care of your hair and your life but you are not you've been you haven't been paying to the bill of your heart Virgo you haven't been paying to your heart chakra the attention that it needs right now I feel like you have gotten out of a situation and spirit wants you to reflect deeply on where you stand here so you can it, let it go Virgo is the energy if you can't heal it if you're not looking at it look at these bills they're not even open okay passionate thoughts but you're having passionate thoughts Virgo you want to be in union you want to have sex okay you want to be in a relationship you want love so there's the energy if you're going to defend yourself from love and want love at the same time that's a that's a confusing energy to manifest towards the the universe so i feel like spirit is telling you you don't want to end up with somebody crazy another stalker here so you need to heal your mind completely i feel like you're very powerful at manifesting virgo and in in doing in in the wrong way even ever so slightly can throw off this hidden secret love the spirit has for you coming up for you Virgo let's end this one out y'all okay we got undying love doing the most made you believe a lie yeah there's somebody who made you believe the lie and that's why they're doing the most here Virgo because they still love you and you have moved on I can't make it up loving me now seeing some bullshit seduced i won there is could be the energy of some stuff still coming to light here for you virgo you could really be coming into some receipts about somebody somebody could be coming towards you virgo to tell you about this um to show you some bullshit to fuck with you okay or you already found out about this 
energy because that could be your bestie okay so you could be guarded damn you can be guarded against relationships and friendships here, Virgo. And Spirit is telling you that those two people were just rats, okay? Not everybody is like that. Your life won't continue to get that if you energetically release it and learn the lessons from that. And boss up, okay? And graduate. That's, that's the steps to graduation, okay? I'm getting the Kanye West graduation song. I'm gonna touch the sky, baby. For the day I die, I'm gonna touch the sky. Is that the graduation song? It's a Kanye song. Day I die, I'm gonna touch the sky. Touch the sky. There's the energy, Virgo. I don't know what that is. I lost it, y'all. Let me look up the lyrics real quick. Okay, if you want to end this reading on out right here, thank you so much for watching. Uh, you already know what it is, but if not, we're going to tap into these lyrics real quick. Touch the... I got to testify. Come up in the spot like an extra fly. For the day I die, I'm going to touch the sky. I got to testify. Come up in the spot like an extra fly. For the day I die, I'm going to touch the sky. Back when they back when they thought pink polo shirt, pink polos would hurt the rock. Before Cam got the shit to pop, the doors was closed. Y'all hear the pop when I said pop? Okay. Um, the doors was closed. I felt like bad boys street team. I couldn't work the locks. Now let's go. Take him back to the plan. Me and my mama hopped into the U-Haul van. Any pessimist, I ain't talking to them. Plus, I ain't have no phone in my apartment, okay? Let's get him back to the club. At least about an hour, to <laughs> I stand in the line. I just want to dance. Give out my advice. Thing dog, where am I? Die. Okay, the energy here, Virgo. There's this, there's the energy of this person. It's almost like living live life to the fullest, Virgo. There's this energy of this person knowing and going through all of their problems, but telling themselves, for the day I die, I'm going to touch the sky. I'm going to touch the sky. Hey, to the day I die, I'm going I'm to touch the sky. So this is the energy, Virgo, of <laughs> you're out here trying to, or you are looking fly, okay? You're coming up in the spot looking extra fly. This is giving testimony to everything that you have been through. Talks about getting in a U-Haul van and moving apartments. You could have just moved, Virgo. You could have just moved places. You could have picked up your family and moved away from a situation because you decided to step up. You decided to boss up, Virgo. Let's take him back to the club. I think I died in that accident because I must be in heaven. And then it goes back into exploring your club life, exploring your freedom, having fun, being free, Virgo, and then testifying even more. Testifying for how high, let them see how high, okay? Top of the world, showing off how, this is what you're going through. This is what's gonna happen for you, Virgo, okay? You're gonna be feeling like you're on top of the world here. You're going to be able to rock Gucci, rock everything here. But then it goes to, I was having a nervous breakdown. Like, man, these niggas that much better than me. It goes back into that guarded self-energy, Virgo. Okay? 
manifesting the wrong energy baby i'm going to i'm going on an aeroplane and i don't know if i'll be black again sure enough i sent plane tickets but when she came to kick it things became different any girl I cheated on sheets i she skeeted on couldn't keep me at home thought i needed a nylon i'm trying to right my wrongs but it's funny them same wrongs helped me write this song. Now, I gotta testify. Come up in the sky looking at to fly. So you just bossed up on an energy, Virgo. But you're having a nervous breakdown about being alone, about this wait period. And then here comes this smooth-ass energy here, Virgo. The smooth-ass energy of this person talking about that they can come on an airplane, they can travel towards you, Virgo. Um, they didn't know you didn't know if this person would be back again but sure enough they got the ticket they got you got the notification that this person is back okay they could have done a lot of cheating they could have skeeted on a lot of sheets here Virgo. but i feel like they're trying to right their wrongs now but you're still in that same energy i gotta testify come up in the spot like an extra five yeah guess who on third loop steals like looping on third like year i'm beer in the curb peach buzz buzz loop beard on the verge okay there's this energy okay i'm trying to stop lying like mamara <laughs> okay yeah if i'm put you in this lyrics look them up for yourself but this is going along with what i'm saying here um but i'm not lying when i was laying on the beat in grande or or touch lupe cool as the <laughs> lupe cool as the unthawed okay but i still feel possessed as a gun charge but i still feel possessed as a gun charge come as correct as a porn star i'm fresh pair i'm in a fresh pair steps in my foreign car so i represent the first now i let my verse right where the horns are like uh i gotta testify come up in the spot like an extra fly so virgo um this person they want to come towards you and stop lying but there's the energy lupe cool there's the energy of that heart box, ice box where my heart used to be. So it's like Lupe cool as the unthought. Luke, loop cool. I think it's supposed to be Luke, like lukewarm. I don't know, y'all. There's the energy of um, thawing out your heart. This person wants to thaw out your heart, okay? Because they're possessive. <laughs> I feel like this person has a porn star energy, Virgo. They're trying to get you to ride around in their car. And, but you're here still. You're still trying to testify. This this is spirit trying to keep you on track every single time. Uh, it's just like a distraction. And spirit trying to keep you on track. They're trying to keep you in this. I got to testify. Come up in the spot like an ex to fly for the day I die. It's like Virgo. They're preparing you for real life here. They're preparing you for... Uh, was to come up in life until you die so i feel like virgo you're working on something that will be a legacy for you um you're working on an aspect that will be with you for the rest of your life and spirit wants you to stay focused on it because you're they want you to be fly for it virgo they want you to be fly for the rest of your life okay so when this smooth talker comes back in trying to tell you that they're trying to stop lying and fly in and do all this bullshit here remember the goals remember the goals all right that's what i got here for the virgos if you resonated with anything here please give me a like comment down below subscribe to the channel to see what's coming up next for virgos and y'all already know i am very grateful and thankful for everybody watching peace